Joe, one of the things that's kind of really stuck out in my mind, ha doing this at night and having you there with these like monstrous lights, is seeing the the tapetum cinnamon in action. So the reflective plates yeah. behind the shark's eyes. And so, you know, when, when the light was shining in them, you see that reflection, you know, it's kind of got that cat eye shine. And what that is, is the light actually bouncing around these reflective plates in the back of the retina that makes them actually more sensitive during low light. So I imagine there's no doubt that, you know, when you shine up those lights in their eyes, it's almost something like, you know, you know, this deer in headlights kind of thing because, you know, they've kind of got this built-in sense for low light that's totally being, you know, enhanced right now. And then it's almost like shining a bright light in exactly. your eye. Exactly. It seems they can't see very well past this. You know, it's like someone turning on a bright light when exactly. we're, we're down there too. But it was definitely cool to see that, you know, you can you can study in the textbook, or you can do dissection and see, you know, they've got these reflective plates in the back of the eye. But going down there and seeing an action where that light just kind of glistening off their eyes and, and catching those that, that, that light sensitive, you know, area of the retina and totally seeing it, it working in action, that, you know, that evolution in action. It's amazing, man. Honestly, it's 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 like kind of like shining a light out in the dark and then seeing a cat look at you or something. Yeah. You see those two little eyes peer out. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's amazing that you picked that up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Especially it's pretty with awesome. all the excitement that was going down yeah. there. Those bull sharks were in pretty tight, huh? Yeah, you know what? At the end, I was like, okay, you know, this is pretty amazing, but we've got what we need. Let's not push it. Because these bulls, all of a sudden, there's two of them. We're kind of getting a bit aggressive Used down there and, and kind of definitely a lot different than what we saw during the daytime where they're kind of keeping their distance and now you know they're like this is this is my area I'm coming in and uh, you know you kind of gave them a poke a few times but they were showing that they are not letting up so no. it was a good time to get out it was good good idea to call it they definitely got used to us and they were getting more and more bold and you could tell that the animals are almost they're like one-third of the size of the hammerheads yet they're just as thick around as they are they're very yeah. stout very bold animals, oh, yeah. so after that point, it was like they kind of won. Yeah, they, there was a little bit of some muscle flexing going on with yeah. those guys, and uh, we, we will give it to them this time. <laughs> I definitely think we should. All right, good job. Thanks right, for watching buddy. my back, All man. Right, man. It's good having you. Awesome, man. man.